What's going on devs? Welcome back to App Development Channel. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you my top 10 best VS Code extension. A lot of people email me about that, so instead of answer one by one by email, I decide to make this video. I'm gonna show you my top 10 extension, the ones I use every day. I'm gonna show you how to use them, what they do, and of course, how to install them. The point here is to improve productivity and make your life as a web developer easier and more pleasant. I hope you like it. Hey there! If you are new here and want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. So let's get started! Alright, and we start now with our first one, Material Theme. Because as you can see, the default one is quite ugly in my opinion. Sorry for the guys who developed that one. But let me show you, we come here and look for Material Theme. And let me show you this one. Okay is this and all we have to do here is click on install button and immediately it just changed okay as you can see it's changed already but let's go back to our coding and see how it feels here okay we can come here you press f1 and you can see the options now we have okay i used to use this one the pay your night, but right now I'm using on all my videos on YouTube the ocean high contrast. Okay, we have a lot of options that you can pick the one you like the most. Right now I'm using this one here. I used to use this one, the pay your night high contrast is another beautiful one, but right now I'm using this one that I believe is easier for you guys to see. And yeah, let's go to the second one. The second one is material icon theme. It's still on the UI section. Because as you can see, those icons are not nice, okay? They're not beautiful. So you can change that by installing material icon theme, all right? Let me just click on this one. When you click here and we install this. And so let's see, let's see the results. We come here and nothing. So let's go back. Let's go back here and apply this one as default. So now, once we go to our icons, you can see that we have a nice icons. Let's say we have eight, nine different icons. It's nice because you can look at them and identify. Okay. Okay, my friend Devs, and now we have the best one here, Emmet. Okay. Let me just show you exclamation tag and tab and. Um, we have this boilerplate. We hit tab one more time, a couple of more times, and you come to the title. For the title here, let me say top 10 best VS Code extensions 2021. Okay. And let's say that under this one, I want to connect our HTML with our CSS. Let me show you. You type link and CSS tab and hit is simple like that one but where it really shine is when we have big stuff i'm gonna show you let's say i i need a header here and this header is gonna have a class of main header okay and inside this one we have a link and a class of logo but at the same level we have a symbol we have a ul with a couple of UIs, five UIs, and inside each one a link and boom, hit is simple like that. And now you can navigate easily. Hit tab href, tab one more time, and you go inside the link, okay? And I say home href and link tag. Simple like that, okay? This is gonna make you be much more faster while coding. And you have an option. You can come here to the empty documentation 
and you're gonna see a lot of options here okay you, you can use the one you like the most the one you need the most every day and for sure this is gonna improve your developer skills a lot you're gonna type faster the next one is also very useful auto renaming tag this one is gonna avoid you to make a lot of mistakes on your coding okay i did some mistakes before and this helped me a lot i cannot code without that one okay let's just install click here install it's quite simple and let me show that in action okay let's go back here to the code and let's say this header is no longer a header i want a section here i change section as you can see in the closing tag section is change okay and for this title now it's gonna be a h1 imagine without this one you can mess around and make great mistakes and another one that you can see in all my videos on youtube here is live server this one is amazing let me show you okay let's say we have a cup of h1 let's say six of them let me have something to show you okay if you guys want i can have another video show you my uh, my top 10 uh, shortcuts okay but for now top 10 best vs code extensions all right if i can type extensions 2021 okay you start well the year and let's also don't forget to have a link pointing to your css a lot of people don't do that and yes why is this not working and i have answered the guy all the time okay and now we can click here and you go to open with live server or just go to the bar here and go live and tada he is the effect we are code on the right and see the results in real time on the left let me show you okay let's have this h1 here take this one and change its color let's say purple save and here it is in real time okay you're not typing blind let's change the font size here to something like let's say one dot no 4 am we have no idea and but now you see you see that's a huge mistake it's too big and in real time you go back to the reason and say 1.5 am you see how useful it is okay i use that every day and i can't see myself coding without that one all right the next one on our list is css pick this is very good on css okay uh, let me show you here we have this html and also this styles.css and with CSS pick, we're gonna be able to quickly jump from HTML to our CSS, okay? First, let's install this one. It's simple like the old ones. You just click on install. And now I'm gonna show you the power of this extension. You click on main text and you hit F12 and you jump right into its CSS. We can, for example, click on this one, okay? and yeah we go right to the text all right but there is more power if you want for example you can code in line if you use option f12 you can code the line okay without going to another window let's say here for example border and let's apply one pixel solid and uh, for the color let's pick white save and you hit escape and it's done as you can see it's right into our css this is a very good tool if you use a lot of css like i do and come next we have color highlight this one is also very useful okay we have just hex colors here and no idea what they mean we have 60 million probabilities so it's not easy okay so we can fix that installing that extension okay color highlight i see those codes no idea about the colors okay maybe if you're very good just a idea okay 
So let's look for color highlight here. And here it is. Let's stall this one. And okay. Let's close this one and here it is. Now we know exactly the colors we are dealing with, okay? But I know that people don't like it this way as a huge background because it's not nice. So we can change that. We can go to extensions and here let's look for color highlight and let's uh, pick another style like dot before so you see the representation of the color right before i have a typo here and okay now you can see well okay we have this little dot here with the color and in front of that we have the hex color okay that's a very good one and another one that i use a lot is back to back colorizer too this one is very good, especially if you're dealing with a lot of next stuff, okay? This is show use, different of what you see here. This shows where a block of code start and where it finish. Okay, it's very good. Let me start this one, back to color. And like the old ones, it's very easy to install. This one is back to pair colorize it too. I didn't know we have the version too. Now I know. And once we install this one, let's come to here and let me show you. This block of code starts here and shows where it finish. This is yellow, this is purple. And there is also this a little line that helps you show where your block of code is. So it's very good. And sometimes we make mistake because after hours coding, it's very easy to mess around of this, okay? So it's very good. The syntax is gonna make your code faster and more important, no mistakes. Last but not least, we have Pity Now. This one is a must have, okay? Sometimes you go to someone else's code and you see a very beautiful code, you see, wow, that guy is very organized and I'm not. But most of the time, Preacher Now is behind that, okay? Let me install that and show you how it works. Let me, we have this one, Preacher Code Formatter, and let me install this one, okay? That is four stars, looks good. So let's install this one. Uh, this, all right. This has 11 million, but the one I know is okay. 11 million is good. I just told this one. Okay. And let's go back first to our CSS file and show you. Let's mess around and show how it works. Okay. And we have this one for our previous extension. Let's mess around with indentation. Okay. And First of all, something very important is you to have a format on save, okay? You have to enable this one. So as soon as you have some problem, all you have to do is save and that's it. It fix your code for you, okay? Let me apply this one, format on save, all right? And now we can go back to our style hit save and the magic is happening okay and we can do the same thing with javascript okay mess around with the editation here and let's delete this comma this one too all right and save that's all done indentation again all right comma here no more comma this one and save it's all done So that's it for today guys, I really hope you like it, if you like it you'll know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell down below, so you get notified every time I post a video like this one. Bye bye and see you in the next video.